braving the dangers of the forbidden forest, there is a Gryffindor, a natural born leader, one unafraid to explore the perilous forces of the wizarding world, one unintimidated by a heavy grit, bold, determined to succeed as a hero. Trolls, werewolves, dragons, nifflers, dark wizards, they are not to be feared, but they should tremble before the red and gold. He is a chivalrous warrior, craving victory, and his name is Brick of the Brave. Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Dr. Squatch Sub Guides. Today we have the Brick of the Brave, a bar that carries courage in every bubble. This is a part of the Harry Potter collection, a collab between Squatch and the boy who lived. It is of course the Gryffindor edition, with a heavy grit and a scent reminiscent of the Gryffindor common room. It's a bar that dares to be challenged, but is this bar all talk, or does it put its galleons where its mouth is? Well let's get into this chivalric brick. We'll begin with unique ingredients. Now a big thank you to Evan2255 for sending me the Canadian ingredient lists for all of the Harry Potter bars. These contain a lot more detail than the American versions, including the actual names of the vague, unique ingredients Squash likes to list. So shout out to him. Go check out his channel for some more great reviews. We won't run through all of these, but we'll cover the main, unique Gryffindor ones. Starting with the highlighted ingredient, Lion's Tooth Granules, which turns out is Dandelions. Makes sense. This is an anti-inflammatory ingredient known for its ability to relieve irritation. It's soothing, antibacterial Material and antioxidant, helping against various skin ailments. I believe this is also where the majority of the grit comes from, exfoliating, clearing dead skin and impurities, and allowing this mighty brick to clean deeper. Next up we have Gryphonia Seed Extract. This is a West African shrub mainly known for its benefits in improving the texture of skin, including tightening, boosting collagen production, and protecting skin with its antioxidant properties. And last we have Sword Grass Root Extract, also known as Kogon Grass. Now, I'm not sure if this was intended or not, but Kogon grass is a pyrophyte, meaning it is highly flammable. It encourages strong wildfires, killing all the nearby competing flora, including trees, and using the opportunity to rise from the ashes like a phoenix and claim the land for itself, basically burning and conquering the affected area. Now, if you didn't know, the four Hogwarts houses each represent one of the four elements, Gryffindor being fire. So an interesting little side note for you. As for skin benefits, it isn't widely used, but it seems to have some moisturizing and hydrating qualities. Overall, we have a brick that looks to imbue you with the power to defeat any foe, promoting healthy skin and a big dick mentality. The scent of this brave boy is one that's hard to place. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. However, a crackling fire ain't it. It's not really all that smoky, earthy, or musky. Instead, I'd say it's more of a rich, warm, woody scent, with notes of balsamic and, to a lesser extent, amber and charcoal. It also kind of reminds me a bit of berry, or more so, grape, in sort of a cologne form, as it's somewhat sweet, with a touch of spice, similar to something like burning incense. And that's about the level of smokiness I get as well. It's gentlemanlike and a relaxing scent. It's just very rich with a lot of warmth, but with some sweetness as well. Personally, I found it to be a pretty unique scent, and one that was refreshing. I don't think Squatch has any other bar that directly compares to it. It's around a medium potency, maybe on the stronger side of that. I found it to be one of the more potent of the Harry Potter collection. With a scent so fresh and warm, you'll feel like you're chilling in the Gryffindor common room talking to your convict uncle through the fireplace. However, to truly get a feel for this brick, we need to leave the Gryffindor common room and hit the showers. Wait, does Hogwarts have showers? Or are they all just bathing with Moaning Myrtle? Regardless, this is a bar with a nice grit to it. I would say it is more of a medium grit than a heavy grit. Much of the grit that is there is bigger chunks and they aren't overly rough but add a good amount of exfoliation. It's an above average Squatch Clean, as is much of the Harry Potter collection. And overall, Overall, I found this to be a very fresh bar to use. It was hydrating, refreshing, and left me feeling ready to go slay a Hungarian horntail. 
Now as for my thoughts, I enjoyed using this bar. I think it has a lot going for it, but it's not quite one of my favorites. We'll rank it as a rather nifty for now. The scent is a very unique one that I found to be both good smelling and potent, although I wouldn't say it's the crackling fireplace as described. The more medium grit adds a nice exfoliation to an already deep cleaning bar. It really just does everything quite well. Like the other bars from the Harry Potter collection, I love the box and theme. I found the Gryffindor boy to fit the vibe overall. The ingredients were clever and beneficial, and the look and scent of the bar I think work as well. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. Do I got any Gryffindors out there? What do you think of the Lion Boy? Let me know if you get your hands on this determined brick. In the heart of the action, the Gryffindor walks with thunderous strides, each step a symphony of valor. As the lion's roar echoes in his veins, emerging as a beacon of audacity, worthy to wield the legendary brick of Gryffindor.